Hello everyone, this is Spark Patel from P3 Studio and this is the fifth session of VMware ESXi training. If you have missed any of our sessions, just check the description. I have given the links in the description below. And in this session, we're going to create a virtual machine using web interface of ESXi server. So let's get started. To create a virtual machine, we need to upload an ISO file to the storage. So go to storage, click on data store browser. Then you can select upload option to upload your ISO file. I already have uploaded Windows 7 ISO to save the time. Now go back to virtual machines, click on create a new virtual machine. You will get three options here. The first is saying that you need to you want to create a new virtual machine or you want to deploy a virtual machine from an OVR, OVF or OVA template or register an existing virtual machine. We're going to select the first option. Click on next. Here provide the name of your virtual machine. Select the compatibility mode if you have earlier version of ESXi running on your organization. Then you can choose any of this. But we are going with the ESXi 6.5. Now the guest OS family, obviously Windows. Then you can select the guest OS version. Click next. Here you need to specify the storage location for your virtual machine. We are having only one data store, so we are going with this one. Okay. So this is the customization settings for your virtual machine. The first one is saying for CPU, second is memory, hard disk, then the SCSI controller, SATA controller, USB controller, network, network adapter, or CD DVD, which means uh, all the components that you are going to install on your physical machine, you can add it up virtually on this uh, virtual machine. So if you want to add a hard disk, you have option here. You want to add a new network adapter, you can click on this. Or you want to add any other device, you can select from here. Now expanding this tab, let's take a look at that. What is it saying is, your present RAM is 2048 gigs of RAM. It means you're having 2 gigabits of RAM right now. Reservation, which means you are going to get this amount of a RAM guaranteed. Let's uh, set it to 512 and uh, limit. Limit is saying that you, your virtual machine is never gonna get the amount of RAM specified in here. Let's set it to 2048 as well. The share is saying that uh, if your virtual machines in your organization all of you are balanced, and the resources are available to use, then any of them would use the excess amount of resources in order to optimize the performance. The, uh, this small option is asking for memory hot plug, which means you can increase or decrease the RAM in between the OS is running, which means if your virtual machine is running, you can change the amount of RAM. Same options you are going to see in the CPU as well. Uh, C, reservation, limit, share, and also you have the CPU hot plug options. So we are going to set it up like this. Uh, my memory is uh, 2048, hard disk is 32 gigabits of um, HDD, and in CD DVD, I'm going to upload my, uh, I'm going to select my ISO file. In CD DVD, it is uh, saying that host device, which means the physical CD ROM drive of your server. So instead of that, we are going to select the data store ISO file, which is Windows 7. I have selected it and don't forget to click on connect, otherwise it won't connect to your virtual machine. Click on next. This will give you the summary of your configuration, which you have set it up for your virtual machine. Click on finish. Now your virtual machine configuration has been completed. You need to start it up. Click on the power on button. Then take the console of your virtual machine.
Now the installation steps are similar as we are doing in a regular OS installation. So we're going to skip this part as far as the installation is concerned. I, I'm guessing you all are aware of Windows 7 installation. So once the installation is completed, we'll return back. Till then I'm pausing the video. So as you can see, the installation is completed now. Our OS is running fine. And if you go to Actions tab here, you can see that you get the different options to manage your virtual machine like shutting down it. You can power on off from here and you can take a snapshot we're going to have another session on snapshots as well okay uh, if you go to edit settings if you remember we have set up a hot plug option for RAM so we can change the RAM from here uh, let's make it 3072 that will be 3 gig and let's save it so you can see that my RAM is increased from 2 gigabits to 3 gigabits. You can see it over here. Uh, let's dock it. You can monitor it over here by going to performance summary. And we're going to end the session here. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel so you don't miss out any other important videos. Thank you for watching.